What's up, everybody? How y'all feeling? How you doing? Feeling good? Feeling all right? You ready to pump it up this morning? Woo, woo, woo. <laughs> I just got out the gym. Uh, very nice gym. I love it. You know what I mean? I, I, I worked out for a good 48 minutes, you know? Um, I went downstairs. I got into that steam room. Mmm. Then I went and took a shower. Mmm. I love it. I always get dressed in the bathrooms though. It's pretty weird. Everybody just be like in the dress room. I don't really like that. <laughs> so uh, yeah. Um, right now it's morning. That's Kathy Fuentes right there. She's Miss Mexico. Just in case you didn't know that. I wanted to make this video because I wanted to tell you how a schedule should be. How I think a schedule should be. How I follow the schedule. And um, you know the schedule is very successful. Uh, because as a realtor, as a business person, you need to have a schedule. If you just winging it, you're only going to get winging it results. And that is not good because that is no money. Um, I follow, uh, you know, uh, whatever Lily and Chad tells me because they are reached a high level where most people would never dream of in their lives. And they're actual multi-millionaires. And I love that. <laughs> so, um, seriously though. So, uh, as a realtor, I'm just, you know, I, you can use this as any business, but as a realtor... Your schedule, man, it has to be like really tight and you gotta stick to it no matter what. So each morning uh, when I get up, uh, I get straight up and I, uh, I I'm gonna say this first. Your day has to start the day before, all right? Remember that, meaning um, the day before at night after I'm done with everything, I got all my clothes ready packed. I got everything together. I got my papers I'm gonna need for tomorrow. I got everything so organized. Well, my baby keeps everything so organized. So that next morning when I'm going out, I'm not fumbling around the house. I'm not looking at, I'm not starting my day off messy. That that's the that's a horrible way to start. So as soon as I get up in the morning, man, I grab my stuff, literally. And I just go straight there. I, first, I say my prayer. Um, and I thank the Lord for waking me up. I give him praise. I always do that. It makes me feel so good before I step out the house. And I know that I'm protected. Okay? And um, I go straight to the gym, man. And once I get to that gym, I go I go upstairs. I work out. I always get that workout. And I love to do cardio because it gets me, like, going for the day, you know? And um, once I'm done, I go sit in the steam room or the sauna. Always the steam room. And then I, I make sure I'm out of there uh, by 730. So I'm, I'm here at the office at 8. Soon as I get to this office at eight, I make me some disgusting coffee, and, and I and I uh, you know and I start studying my scripts. Um, I study my scripts for uh, sometimes an hour long. Look, I know my scripts. I know my stuff. I'm really good at this business. I don't take this for no joke, um, because you are messing with people's families. You have to be on your stuff. You got to be on point and sharp. And um, soon as I'm done with my scripts, the first thing I'm doing, I'm getting on the phones. I love to get on those phones. Uh, I always do my scripts from 8.30 to 9.30. Sometimes I go, you know, I go a little bit over, but I always I always get on the phones from 10, and I like to stay on the phones until 12. I love to stay on there, uh, you know, 12 or 12.30, because I, I want to make an appointment for that day, and I always call uh, expired listings, you know, because our marketing is so great. Every home we list, we sell because we know how to market and we know how to give them exposure. And that's the only reason a home doesn't sell is because of exposure, especially in a hot market like ours. And it has to be the right price. And um, I always get those expires. If I don't make an appointment for that day, I'm, I'm usually working with a lot of buyers. Um, after I get off the phone, uh, 1230, you know, one o'clock, I'm out the door. I'm, I'll go view some homes because you have to be an expert in your area. And um, I always use some homes and then I'll take a little break. I'll get me something to eat and stuff like that. And then, um, you know, at night, um, I'm always out showing a buyer. I never let my lights be free. Even when I didn't have no business, I would just be going to an event or something like that to keep myself busy because that's how you have to do it. You have to network, especially in the business of real estate. Networking is your key. You know, referrals is your key, uh, especially if you're not cold calling. But, you know, I'm going to tell you guys, uh, a lot of people always bash cold calling and stuff and stuff like that. You know, you, you know, cold calling, whatever you want to call it that. Um, but th that because they're afraid of it. But cold call is the thing that yields you the most success in this business. The things that people bash and things that people are afraid of is the thing that yields you the most success like anything out of life. Um, you got to be on that phone because, you know, there are properties out there, especially if you're a new agent. I mean, you know how many properties have expired and they need some help and they just like somebody help me, and especially if you got a good team behind you where they market it and, you know, they got that, that top marketing strategy. You're going to get some business, man. And um, don't worry about it if you call and you don't get nothing for a whole week, couple weeks. It's been, it's been some times where I haven't got nothing for like two, three weeks over the phone. But does that stop me? Absolutely not. And um, so after I do that, 
I always make sure like, you know, I'm back at the house because every night I love to, uh, I love to write letters to the Lord. You know, um, that's what I like to do, you know, for myself. I like to get some studying in and I like to watch, uh, I always, every time I'm studying, I always put on a million dollar list in, uh, New York. I know it's crazy. People always bash it, but those guys at the top of the game and I've met some of them and they really do work hard and that is no joke. And, um, a lot of the, you know, strategies that I get, uh, you know, just some, you know, marketing good is, 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 uh, is a lot from that. So that's what I do. Make sure you, you make sure you in that office, man. You in that office from eight because I'm telling you, man. I I know as old as it sounds, the early bird gets the worm, man. If you're not in that office on the phone, the next person is, and they are gonna get that property. They are gonna help that family. You gotta make sure you in there in the morning. You gotta make sure you stick to that schedule. The most important things come first, man. Even I'm telling you, as a new agent, especially, man. Like I would literally go on the phones and I would get nothing, but I would and I, like no joke, I would wake up so I would wake up at four o'clock in the morning. I work out. And I would come back home because I didn't have money for Vulcan or, you know, or the dollar system. And man, I would just literally study and then I'd just stare at the wall. Like I, I had nothing to do. I was like, I had no business, nothing. I was like, what do I do? Um, if you don't have that uh, on the weekends, make sure you're doing an open house. Make sure you make that a part of your schedule every Saturday. Every, if you don't go to church on Sundays, on a Sunday, do an open house, man. I'm telling you, buyers going to come in there. That stuff is the, that stuff is potent. If you do the open house right, you got, you know, fly, you go knock on these doors and, and put flyers out. I'm telling you, man, and, and you get, um, you know, and you uh, definitely like stick to your, and you call these people and follow up with them after your open house. I'm telling you, man, you will be successful. It's not going to happen overnight. It's not fast success. If it comes fast, it's not going to last. Always remember that. You got to work harder. You got to bust your behind at it. And you just got to go hard, man. Look at these basketball players. Look at these football players. These people are they going hard every day for a couple games or like, what, 10, 15 games a year? Every day they going hard. You got to put yourself in the mind frame of that. I don't even watch basketball or football. I don't have time for it. I never could get into it. Just not me. My son plays it, so I love when he does it. But any other time, no, I don't got time for that. But, man, what I do love to watch, I love to go on YouTube and watch, uh, you know, Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, like LeBron. And see, they, they work ethic is potent. I'm talking about these guys going at it all day long. Man, uh... Kobe, one dude, I was listening to his interview. He was like, man, I was inside of this. Um, I came inside the uh, the basketball just to practice before the game. It was a playoffs, right? And he said Kobe was already in there practicing like an hour before him. And he was like, um, he was already sweaty and stuff. But, man, I was just doing some practicing, doing a little bit. And he said, I turn around and Kobe's still back there, but he going hard like he actually playing a game. And that night, he scored like 42 or 48 points over them. And he said he went to the game and asked Kobe, after the game, asked Kobe said, man, why was you practicing so hard? He said, man, I saw you walk in and I wasn't going to let you out practice me. You got to be in a mind frame of that, man. This is, as, it's a competition. You know, that man has to feed his family. You have to feed your family, man. And if you don't work, you're not, if a man don't work, a man don't eat. That's from the Bible. Work at it. Kill it and stick to your schedule, man. Get in that office at 8 a.m. Call for two, three hours. If you don't get no appointment, go look at some homes. So when you finally do get that buyer from an open house, I know the perfect home for you. It's right up the street over here. You want to go check it out? Do your thing, man. I'm telling you, real estate is the best business in the world. If you really go hard at this, I mean, you can make some serious money, man. If you help people and, and protect their money and protect them, you will be at the top of this business, man. Lily climbed from scratch. She didn't even know English. She learned from watching soap operas. We can do it too, man. I'm telling you, man, for, don't get don't get so comfortable with some 100, 200 grand, man. You want to hit that million dollar level, man. You want to be able to take your family on vacation and have fun and, and, and not have no worries. It's like having magic powers when you have money. Even the Bible says money fixes all things. You know, it's not going to fix like happiness, but it, you know, it's fix some bills. <laughs> it definitely will fix some bills. It'll put a smile on their face so you can buy your baby a beautiful purse or, uh, you know, buy your kids something or buy your son their first car or, you know, take them on vacation. But yeah. So there it is. I'm out. That was a long video. And um, so stick to your schedule. Do your thing. <sighs> Let's kill it. I'm starting to get used to looking at this camera and not feeling crazy. So yeah. <laughs> All right, man. Talk to y'all later on the next video. Next video I'll do about open houses and how we kill that. Deuces. Bye-bye.